That's only Vex too. Oh, do you want Jack Nadal? Don't worry, don't worry, baby. Don't oh, come on, worry. give us a here. Stop fussing. Oh, Mark. Come on. Yeah. I think Joe would probably rather be firing at me right now. Well, don't be silly. Well, we're not getting on too well, as you might have noticed. Perhaps if you were. Are Joe and Kate with you? Well, they're outside somewhere. Well, Mark, do us a favour and hurry them up. Now's not quite the right time, Amos. Oh? No, I don't think there's much chance of them getting here tonight. Oh. Do you want me to read part, Amos? No, no, we'll give them a mini tour to. Oh. Annie sent me it with this. Oh, thanks. Oh, I, um, I only brought one, I didn't know. That's all right, I'm not bothered. I'll go get another one. No, you're all right, it's all right. Rachel, are you all right? Rachel, there's something... Catch the last bus. I'm such a creep. <laughs> well, I'm sure that Nick won't be like that. I don't think I'll ever find out. Look, he'll ask you. I bet he will. Has he had many girlfriends? Well, I don't know. He lived with a girl called Claire once, but she ran off and left him. Oh, was he upset? Well, I think that's why he went to France. Get over a broken heart. How romantic. Mm. He's not going to be that interested in me, then, is he? Don't be stupid. No, I know, but... I don't think he still loves her, if that's what you mean. What happened? You all right? Sorry, you in a car. I'm not here. No? No, they've gone up to the Hunt Bottle at home farm. Oh. Where's Mark? He's at the pictures with his mates. Screw to the house. No arguing at table. Must be a new one, men. Where are Mum and Jo? Jo is milky and your mother's not up yet. I hope that you're going to apologise to them. <sighs> I tell you what, Rachel, I'll do your A-levels and you can knit baby clothes for me, eh? Mum, I don't see why you've got to knit things at all. I mean, the minute you announced you were pregnant and he was on the booty production line, Bob thing will be wearing booties till it's 14 at this rate. Oh, I have to wait till he's 14 for a matinee jacket the way your mother's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you use some knit things for me and Mark? Well, when do you think I... Hey, should you be doing your homework? Yeah. What's that? It's just a watch. Saved up for it with some pocket money. All right? Oh, Zoe wants a word with us. I reckon there's going to be some hair coursing in... Put the temper away. Come on, you. What's going on? I don't know. Down. Got my last English paper coming up. And then I'm feeling it's going to be a real pick. You'll be okay. Yeah, I hope so. Should be after all the work I've been doing. Thing is, it seems to come at a really crummy time of the month. You know, just when you're feeling at your lowest air. Where's Ma and Kate? Out six for the geese. Thought I'd do a bit of tidy. The massive loan or overdraft to pay off. But then again, I don't fancy working either. Oh. A temporary job might be all right. So I could earn some money to travel. Over where? Mm, anywhere. Well, how long for? Until the money ran out, I suppose. And then you'd go to university? <laughs> Look, I don't know. Stop trying to tie me down. We're using the best china. Don't be daft. If Christopher Tate can't accept us as we are, he'll have to lump it. Well said, Mark. All right, you're the sociable one. Remind me to never invite a new boyfriend round for tea. Mm. Hi. Hi. Hope not too early. Where did you live before you lived at home farm? At Skipdale, uh, just outside. Oh. Ready? Another okay. beer? Let me the ladder. Yeah, lovely. Thank you very much. So you're really settling in at the nursery, are you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Rachel fancies hitching across to Europe. Well, I thought I might get a job first for a few weeks, earn a bit of cash. <laughs> Maybe Joe would employ you. <laughs> he does that already. I don't think he'd fancy paying me as well. <laughs> no, I find you something a bit cushier. Yeah. I see you. Supposed to be. When I got there, there didn't seem to be much fun. Well, how are you? I mean... Oh, Rachel. Talk it over with your mum. I can't talk to her. I know she only wants to do what's best for me, but she's behaving as though Nick had nothing to do with it. Well, he did. And I need to talk to him. So what's stopping you? I don't want to go looking for him in case somebody sees me and tell my mum. Will you find him? Tell him I'm here. Just gone home, Mum. Are we having a repeat of last time? Of course time? not. What's the matter? Well, apparently Elsa's not going to stay the night after all. She's just gone home. What's going on? Nothing, Annie, honestly. I... 
Look, Rachel. I haven't been completely honest with you. I'm not all right. I haven't been since I left. And I'm certainly not here for the fresh air. Well, what are you here for, then? There's somebody come in. It's Mum. Quick, hide. <laughs> You're talking to oh, no one. Oh, I could have sworn I heard you talking to someone. I was singing. Oh, right. Listen, uh, do you want a hand? No, I'm fine, honestly. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll get up to the top field because I, I think I'm more needed up there. Right. All right, I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye bye. Just like old times, isn't it? <laughs> I think you feel like I do. Look, there's no use kidding yourself, Pete. All right, then why did you make me hide? Why did you send your mum off like that? Why didn't you just say, it's all right, Pete Whiteley's here helping me? Oh, come on, with your reputation. No, you come on. Don't you mean our reputation? Oh, look, I know it was messy at the end, but I want to make it up to you. Oh, come on, let me give you a hand with these. See? We always did work well together, didn't we? No, otherwise you're going to be late. Look, before you go, I've got something to say. You too, Mark. Look, what happened yesterday was a great shock to us all. I don't expect we've got much sleep over it. That's bad. I'm just getting some stamps. Gonna write to my mum. Lynn. What? About Pete. Well, what do you think? Oh, it's great, Joe. Thanks. Well, I hope you like it. <laughs> what have you got, Mark? Just some shoes. Oh, you've been wanting some trainers for ages. That's, that's great, Joe. Thanks uh, a lot. Listen, next week, there's a gig on at St George's Old in Bradford. Soul to soul, a one-nighter. I thought we might get some tickets. Oh. A gig? Yeah. What's the on about? <laughs> that, that'd be great, Joe. Thanks. You've been lucky. Tickets have been sold out for weeks. You're joking? Well, yeah. They're like gold dust, Joe. Fancy that? No, I've never heard of them. Well, why did you want to go see them, then? Well, I've got to keep the education up, haven't I? <laughs> Well, I'll get the calves bedded down. Well, I'll see to the calves. And you sit down, you've been working all day. Yes, so have you. You sit down. All right. I don't mind, honestly. Did I tell you, Joe? Oh. Rachel. Joe, what are you doing? Annie, I wish you wouldn't do that. I didn't want to disturb you. What's he doing up at this time? Uh, I've been helping Joe with the milking. I just thought I'd make my sandwiches for lunch. Yeah, do fine. I'm still not happy about it. It's all right, no one will ever know. Look, I'd much prefer it if we told Joe. Oh. He'd know what to do if something no. went wrong, you Dad. You tell him anything. Not a word, do you understand that? Provide. Oh, Henry. There you are. Another one, please. Right. 